Hello everybody. So today we're going to make a bow string. So when I was a young warthog, I was given this bow about four year, 40 years ago. We're making a new bow string for it for the boy. We're going to use the rope maker and our tools and stuff we set up. So I'll come over here and have a look at this, like actually from this side. So this thing here is like a hundred years old, come in close and you can see the gears and stuff a little bit. So it's a planetary system that runs from this side, come around, and runs the rope maker. Now I'm going to make a full video of this, but today we're just making a video of making a bow string. So we got some bow string from the internet, and as you can tell, it might not be bow string, more be like bow thread. But it's quite strong, so what we're going to do is make like a a 16 ply little miniature rope that we're going to use for bow and so on this so what we're going to do is we're going to tie make a four strand rope and then on this end we're going to uh, hook it all into here and so as we twist the rope and make the rope there's a little bit of a counterweight and as the rope shrinks because it's tying up so if you back up a little bit from over there as as you make a rope it shrinks and so it'll raise a little bit but that counterweight will keep the same tension so that the rope is tight so that's what we're going to do now i think there's one other small thing if you can see closely on uh on the string if you twist it this way it comes unwound but if you twist it the other way it winds up tight tighter like a candy cane and the way you run your rope maker changes how the roll, how the string rolls together if it rolls into one big smooth rope or if it tightens those up the other way but that's just a rope making thing okay so we have about we're gonna tie the rope so it's about that long we're gonna probably be a foot too long or something like that. so come over here young man and then we will we'll do a four strand rope so we're just going to start on the bottom and just tie a knot in it, right? So we're just going to make a loop and hook it on the rope maker, right? This is hard on my eyes, I can't hardly see it. Okay, so now the question is, uh, so you'll hold this up. And we're going to make how many strands all together? Uh, 18. 16. Oh, yeah, 16. So there's how many? Um, Two. Yeah. All right. So we're going to, uh-oh. But if I come back to here now, we're going to have four on the very first one. Right? Yeah. So we have to finish there, I think. All right? That makes sense? Yeah. This has to can can turn. You have to keep it straight. Okay, so I have four here now, right? Right. So there's four on this one, one on this one, and four on this one, right? And I have two on this one, right? And you can make a three strand rope or a four strand rope. It all depends on which way you want to run. Okay, so how many do I got in there? Uh, one, two, three, so this is the fourth one. So now I'm finishing with the bottom one again, right? Yeah. So that's one, two, three, and I finish back on the bottom. Okay. There it is. So now I'll get my handy duty lighter and I'll cut that off. Make sure that doesn't spin. Because it kind of it kind of wants to, and that's important that it doesn't until we're until we're ready. Until we're ready. Okay. So now I'm just gonna Tie a couple half hitches in this. Okay. 
Okay. So there are four strands in each one of these, right? Yep. Um, so what happens now is when we turn the handle, each time we go around once with the handle, this will rotate five times, right? So we're going to rotate it five times as fast as we crank it up. Oh, this is giving me like this. I can't even see the difference. What we, the way this string is twisted, I got to get glasses, is if we twist it, if we twist them this way, that will open up all those strings so that the, there's no twine left in them, and then it'll roll them back the opposite way. Or if we twist them this way, it tightens them up already more. I think we want to open it up so that it makes it smoother mm -hmm. in the system. Okay. The other thing we're not doing just yet, right? If we look over here, what? So how this works? So say you distance that way, so you watch. So go over there and watch from this way a little bit, not too far away, but so that the perspective is good. Okay. So what we have going on here is these things will turn and turn and turn, but this will want to rotate, and this is actually a, a swivel from a bicycle wheel. And so this will want to rotate, but we won't let it rotate until there's tension in the in the string from getting wound up tight, and then it'll just make itself into a rope. But because we're going to slack it off a little bit, we need to have a little bit of tension on the on the weight. And as it gets shorter, it's going to come up this way, right? Mm -hmm. But it has to have some already, otherwise it's going to get away from it's. When we slack it off, it's going to just hang down and and tangle. So we need to back that up a little bit, and then we'll put our top. He in made here. these. They keep these separate until the tension is right in them, and then and then it'll just make itself a rope. So what you're going to do is hold hold it like that, right? So then all four of these strands are in in these places. Right, you're just going to hold it up a little bit. I'm going to pull this back just a tiny bit so that it lifts the jug. Right? Okay. So now when I tighten this up, if, or when I, when I loosen these off, it'll slack off a tiny bit and then it'll tighten it up and we'll just watch how it starts to make a rope. Okay. So which way do we want to turn it? Clockwise. We want them to be turning that way to unwind that way. Okay, ready? So how many turns? <clears throat> okay, so you now watch the jug will fall a tiny bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Go now and up, you can't tell. When you're making a rope with twine, it's a lot easier, obviously. Now, you, if you hang on to this and you let some of the, because these will want to wind, but they'll get trapped here. So you need to hang on to this so it doesn't spin and then you move it that way a little bit and let the tension pass here, right? Okay, move your top again. Ball up almost, right? If you let go, if it'll not enough tension yet. With a bigger rope, it does it more, but it just it'll naturally just want to spin it like that. You see how it starts to spin up? Yeah, now it's becoming all open. Right? Yeah. So get a little more tension in it. Looks like it's still 
Ja, ja. And you want it to be nice and smooth so that it has a good uh, tension in it, right? Mm -hmm. to do it by itself. It's pretty close, I think. <clears throat> you want to crank it and I'll watch this end? Or do we make the video from that way? Yeah, maybe. Uh, crank it a few more times and then maybe I'll hold the camera here and watch it. Um, away from you and I'll That's working. Okay. Yeah, give her. So we'll take the top out of there. I think we might have made it too short. I'll look at the bow in a second here and see. Okay, there. So now it's wound up as far as it'll go. <laughs> it's too short. Ooh. See? Back up here so you can see how much we did. So... <laughs> How much did that shrink here? Our weight is all the way to here, so it, it raised that whole way, right? So stand back there, you can see how much this this weight. So our string shrunk that much as we tightened it, right? Does, that's not good. No, I'm surprised that it, it shrunk that much. And it could be because we have too much tension. We could slack it off and see if we could make uh it's fairly rough too. I'm surprised though, because yeah, it's too short. By eight inches at least. Hmm. So, we had a little, uh, it didn't, the rope turned out too short. So we're starting over, we're gonna make a three strand rope, but a little bit longer and see how it plays out. But you have to hang on to this so it can't spin with your hand. Okay. Okay, so we got three strands. That doesn't work. You can't do that's if I go three, you have to go back four, right? Yeah. So now there's three strands on the bottom. I think we're messed up and we have to cut some rope here. Because now we have three strands here, right? But in order to have a third strand there, we have to tie it on both ends, right? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise this will have four. This is a little bit of a goat rodeo. Remember how to do it. Not off the top of my head, but it's very simple. Once you remember, you just start in a different place, I think. You start here instead of there. The issue is. Okay, and I'll cut it. And then do a fourth one here. You need to hang on to it and you don't need to let it spin, right? See these things with my eyes. Let's 
So that's three there, right? Mm -hmm. Or do we do a three strand roll on four, or three strands on four? Is it four on four? We've done that. Right? Yep. To get the bifocals out. Mm -hmm. It's so tiny you can't see it and, and with the lines in it like a like a candy cane it kind of screws up your depth perception too, right? Yeah. Two strands, right? Mm-hmm. Three strands. Okay. Jeez. Pretty mean, eh? <laughs> well, this is gonna be disgusting long video we'll have to cut off 80 percent of it okay so this is three strand oh it's a four strand rope with three in each right okay so i'm going to crank this up and we still need the four uh the four strand top to keep them all separate from each other okay now that'll just hang like that so it shouldn't spin very much Fifty, fifty turns. I think I should uh, put this over where we, where we made the little stand there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, can you crank it from? Sixty. So it actually sees it? Probably not, huh? Uh, so 
a little out of focus. I would think so. Looks like a pretty good little rope though. Okay, yeah. so I'll just pull the end up here. From here you can see this. So I'll just crank it a couple more times and pull them off and tie it into a knot. Come over here where you can see this, how it finishes up. So what happens is it just t twists up so much that it just wants to twist like that, you see? Like mm -hmm. that. Okay, so it's good enough there. So, so let me just pull them off like that. So this is a wonder rope maker. I think it was made in the early 1900s. I don't remember. I thought there's a date on it, but I can't see. Is it see. right there? Wonder rope. The wonder rope maker. Very wonder. Wonderful. I think we've got the rope right this time, lengthwise. I think so. I got a little miniature rope anyway. Yeah. Look for a bowstring, I hope. Mm -hmm. Like one little strand was almost enough to hold me up. Yeah, it's strong enough for sure, just a kind of a pain to deal with. Okay, so, and then we'll tie a, I don't know how you do it, just tie a knot, a knot in it like that, or a bow line, or what? What's me? That should be a smaller, smaller loop. I think maybe you should put it on and then tighten it. Well, you want to be able to put it on, take it off, though. It's don't, true. Don't leave it on forever. That would wreck it. Well, with a fiberglass bow, it's probably not as crazy, but yeah, it's not supposed to be left strong. I'm going to pause it. Okay. We got our, now if it'll zoom out, dumb thing. Four seconds if it won't zoom out. There it is. Okay, show me how to draw the rock. Or to draw the bowl. Looks like it'll hold. Now let's go lose some arrows. Or have supper first. Mm -hmm.